Hello everyone, today we have got a selection of bikes with us and we're going to show you 10 more sick tricks that you have to learn on a mountain bike. We've got full suspension and hard tail. Let's get on with it. Number one is the endo. Of course, how could we forget? You want to approach it at a good speed, uh, have a good front brake that's working well. Um, you want to pull the front brake and then sort of lean forward with your weight that will bring the back wheel up and then you can stretch out if you're going too far over the front uh, and then you can just find the optimum balance point you'll bring it up the back wheel be stalled out you'll find yourself doing an endo and everyone around will be so so impressed so come in not too fast throw your weight forwards you can lean back if you feel like you're gonna go over the front Get the back wheel in the air. Yeah, that's an endo. Let's add some tricks to it. Here we've got a trick, it's the no footed endo. Whoa. Bar hop endo. The one legged bar hop endo. Oh, yes. The 180 endo. This is the relaxed endo tire grab. Oh, shit. oh. <laughs> crank flip endo this is the backward spacing bad boy endo oh, oh. Again. <laughs> the endo has so much potential why don't you try a no foot can endo maybe a superman endo you could have a game of endo with your friends and see you can do the craziest tricks let's move it on to number two Number two, ever watched a gripping TV series and you just don't know what's gonna happen next? Well, this next trick is the cliffhanger. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You wanna go along slightly faster than normal, um, just because that'll help stabilize the bike and stop you falling side to side. Once you're at comfortable speed, you've got to make the jump to your forks. Rest your feet up here, clamp here, and then push your shins against the bars. It does actually hurt your shins quite a bit. And then when you're in that position, the easiest thing to do is, as quick as you can, jump up to get the extension, because the longer you like mess around on the forks, it just drags it out and it's not going to work. You can balance the bike with your feet like this. And then, yeah, once you've gone a reasonable distance and start to lose speed, jump down, clean to pedals, roll away to the cheers of all your mates. Right, we're into number three now. This is the running man. I'm not even gonna explain, watch this. So more practical uses of the running man is to do with your phone. You can update Facebook, Instagram, call friends or even text like this. Hello mate, yo. Trick number four. I know not all of you like flying through the air doing tricks with your bike, so why not try the oh. Superman flat? Yeah. For the Superman, flat, you want to roll along about walking speed just to keep your balance. Pop, kick those legs back as hard as you can, feel your back click. It's important to keep an eye on your pedals at all times so you don't shinny McSteve's yourself. And then, yeah, land and then roll away the man of the day. Number five, this is the seat stand wheelie. Get up to a good speed, jump onto your seat, pull up on the bars and get into a wheelie while standing on the seat like the guys do on the motorbikes. Watch this. Ideally, you need a hill for this trick really, to keep up the momentum. But you can get the basics done in here and then take it to the hill. You can also do it one-legged.
take that home and show you, mate. Let's go on to number six. Here in England, we have an ice cream called the Mr. Whippy, but they stole the name off of me. And today, I'm gonna to teach you the real Mr. Whippy. Oh. Mr. Whippy. The real Mr. Whippy. So you wanna go along about walking speed. I take my back foot off and then spin the bike clockwise. As it spins, you let go with, I let go of my right hand and loosely grip my left hand so it allows the bike to spin around. And then keep an eye on the pedals. You wanna pull the bike back in towards yourself. You jump for those pedals as soon as you see them, whether the bike's in the air or on the ground. And then, yeah, you can land the Mr. Whippy and have a new trick in your inventory. Number seven, this is the pogo oh. stick. You don't even need to buy one. Your bike becomes one. Lift it up, foot on, foot in. Pogo, amazing. So much fun for all the family. This is trick number eight. Have you ever been out on a bike ride and then in the distance you've seen an amazing set of dirt jumps? The only thing between you and those dirt jumps is a football pitch with a live match. Well, it's not a problem anymore. You can use the goalie roly to get to them dirt jumps. Trick number nine, this is the fakie. Fakie is basically another word for riding backwards. We're gonna start things off. You need to find a solid object that you can push your front wheel against and get some momentum to roll backwards. Oh yeah. Woo. Alternatively, if you have a front brake on your bike, you can go from an endo, which we learned earlier. That will just get you started and you can roll back and complete the fakie. So with the fakie, it's literally just trial and error. You've got to just feel it and practice is will make perfect with this trick. Once you get more confident with the fakie, you can, you can go even faster into it by doing a 180 hop before, and then you can go back for ages, as long as you've got speed, really. Oh, yeah. Oh. The fakie is a trick that once you learn it, will unlock so many levels, like that last little spin as well. So go out, learn it, and you will not be disappointed with trick number nine. Finishing things off with number 10. Do you hate it when the grass is just too long? Because I do. This is the lawnmower. For the lawnmower, you want to come at quite some speed. Uh, when you get towards the top of the, the bank, you need to jump up put your back foot onto the wheel, as you can see here. Then you take off your right arm, well, I take off my right arm, and you let the bike fall away. Uh, and the way that you're stood on the wheel and the crank holds your bike up. And then when you're, when you're ready to get back on the bike, you push with your foot that's still on the pedal, and then you sort of drag your back wheel with your other foot, reach for the grip, and then uh, ride away looks really difficult but actually it's not that hard so uh get out there and learn it that is the end of the video and we hope that you enjoyed it if you managed to land any of these new 10 tricks then you should send them to us because in the last video a lot of you guys are sending us your attempts and that was really sick uh it'd be awesome if you'd leave some comments it'd be rad if you subscribed see you in the next one